like this right here is actually from an onion. So I had planted an onion seed in the ground and it was supposed to be growing into an onion, but it kind of rotted at the bottom and it flowered. And now if you look in there, those little black things, oh my goodness, there are a bunch of onion seeds. So I'm gonna be showing how to take this and taking the little seeds out of here and you can grow a ton of onions. This is definitely a fantastic thing to do if you want to grow onions is to just let one of your onions bloom into a flower and let it dry. And you can tell it's totally dry and that some of these little pods right here are opening up and those little black things right there, those are the seeds. So I have got hundreds of seeds right here from just this one flower, which would be amazing to plant. And especially right now we're in August, but the best time to plant is think, think Halloween. Think in October, and plant the seeds in the ground and during that time let them winterize and then you can um, you'll have uh, beautiful onions in the spring and first part of summer as well so I actually think I need to go get some scissors and I'm gonna trim this because this is just at the stage that it needs to be cut and to save the seeds so perfect timing and just to let you know this is how you save onion seeds so now I've got a bowl over my uh, onion flower and you can see all these little black things. Oh my goodness. I would just honestly shake the darn thing, getting some of these out of here and kind of just kind of crush it just a little bit. And you can see I'm getting seeds to kind of just come right out. I'm actually gonna cut it too. It's just kind of hard to hold the phone and do all this. Let's just kind of all right. Doing this one-handed is interesting. <laughs> but what I'm wanting to do is just kind of pop these open. Because all these little pots have little seeds in them. And this is like the same thing you need to do with chives and leeks. Um, so all those onion varieties, they have little flowers. And when the flowers are done, they've dried up, they're ready to go as far as the seeds are on the inside. This is what you need to do. You just kind of work them. You don't have to get all of them. It just depends on how many seeds you want to save for the year. I'm like, look at this. I mean, I already got a ton of seeds in here. It depends on how many onions we want to grow or if I want to give seeds to like friends of ours. So you don't have to worry about all of the seeds in this flower, just as much as you want for your garden for the year. This is, this is the simple way to do it versus buying, you know, buying some packets at the store. And honestly, this only takes like a minute to just kind of work, get a few seeds and save it. And they're hard, check out these seeds. Here, let's go over to a seed. I mean, they're teeny. Well, they're inside my nail there. They're so teeny 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 little seeds they're hard like a little stone it's really interesting there's one that fell out over here let me get that and put it back in here but you can see there they are teeny little seeds and they're ready to go for onions for the next year that's how easy it is to save seeds